In this UG Cloud tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make a contact group. So once you've logged into the cloud, you're going to scroll up here to the top where it says More, click on there, and then click on Contacts. Once you click on Contacts, you'll be sent here. And to add a new group, I can go over here to this icon with the two people and the plus sign and click. Now I'll get this message. What would you, what would you like to name this group? Now, you're going to want to be careful with your naming conventions. That way it's easier for you to find your group and that way it's easier for other teachers to find your group. So for instance, if you taught the grade 8 A math class at Minto Clifford, you can name your group 8A Minto Clifford Public School Math and then put in the year. At the secondary level, you can use a different naming convention. You can start off with the acronym of the school, so in this case, Central Wellington District High School. Put in the course code, 3M1A, and the year. Once you're done that, you can click OK. Once your group has been made, you can start adding contacts. So you'll go up here to search for contacts, click in there, and start typing in the names of people you want to add. So in this case, I'm going to add Matthew Arnold. Click on search, and there he is. Click on him. Go over here to groups. Click there and add him to my CWHS group. I can add more people here. I can add Jenny Ritter. Search. Click on her. Click on groups and add her to my class here. So now I have two people in my group. Now if I want to send a message to them, I can go into my mail, compose a message, and send it to CWDHS ASM 3M1A. So instead of having to type in all their names, I can just put in the group, contact group, and there they are. So again, fairly easy to make a contact group, and it'll help you stay organized when you're using the cloud.